Systems can shut down or spin out of control. These are called feedbacks, and they can have global scale consequences. Julian Struva studies the reflectivity of surfaces, which is called albedo. Exploring huge expanses of the coldest regions of the planet, she's found that altering the reflectivity of snow and ice has wild effects on global systems. So Ryan, as you can see right here, the snow is very, very bright, which means it's reflecting most of the sun's energy back out to space. Uh -huh. And we use a term called albedo, which basically defines how much of the sun's energy is coming in versus how much is being reflected back out by the surface. Let me show you something that's pretty important. All right. So check this out, Ryan. Here's a really good example of the differences in the albedo between rock and snow. Because since the rock has a lower albedo, it's been absorbing a lot of the sun's energy, heating up and melting back the snow that used to be next to it. So the rock is heating up, and when the rock heats up, it melts back the snow. And so when the snow melts back, it exposes more rock, which heats up a little bit more, melting back more snow. Well, basically, since large parts of our planet are covered by snow and ice, if the planet warms, we're going to be melting back that snow and ice and exposing darker surfaces such as rock or the ground. Would you expect to be able to go to these polar regions where there's a lot of snow and ice and see this ice albedo feedback happen? Well, we are seeing that happen predominantly right now in the Arctic region where we've seen large changes in the amount of sea ice that's covering the Arctic Ocean. What are the implications of rapid sea ice change in the Arctic? You know, warm up the Arctic even more than you would if that our sea ice was there. The fact that the Arctic is cold, the equator is warm, that drives all of our atmospheric and oceanic circulation patterns. So we're looking at changing all of our weather patterns. Wow, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. That was really cool.